get started with shout outs, I just want to give you guys an update on what's going on with our suspension. We have gone from a three month suspension to a permanent termination of our AdSense account. In two days. Yep, in just two days. So we are looking into legal action against the trolls. We are looking into other avenues as far as funding, but we are not going to let this stop us. We are going to continue with all of our channels and to grow all of our channels no matter what the outcome of this is. So with that said, we want to again thank everybody for their love and support and let's get started with shout outs. Yay! Yay! We do have some new people again. Greg Woodall. Him and his wife have been watching since the very beginning. Thank you for that and thank you for finally commenting and welcome to the neighborhood. Because when you comment, you get officially welcomed. That's right. Melissa Burgett. Welcome to the neighborhood. Jess Brown. Welcome to the neighborhood. And okay. Uh, oh, let's do these two. Tanya McNeil, welcome to the neighborhood. And Emmy and Art, welcome to the neighborhood. Okay, and now we have two uh, thoughts and prayers, guys. Tanya Ray, we need thoughts and prayers for her stepfather and for her father. His heart is only, his her father, his heart is only functioning at 20% right now. Um, so if everybody could please, please keep Tanya Ray and her stepfather, her father, and their entire family in your thoughts and prayers. And Tanya, you are always in our thoughts and prayers, and we love you. So hang in there, sweetie. And a while back, we had spoken to you guys about Ken Batista. Um, he was a young guy who was following us, and his mother was a survivor of breast cancer, and then she came down with pancreatic cancer. And unfortunately, on April 27th, she had lost the fight to pancreatic cancer. And um, I'm sorry, Ken, it, it, it breaks my heart. Um, I wear a ribbon for pancreatic cancer for my sister, and even though it wasn't pancreatic cancer, it was pancreatitis, but there's for your mom, Ken. So if everybody can keep Ken Batista and his family in your thoughts and prayers and say a special prayer for his mother, we would greatly appreciate that. And Ken does have his own channel as well. I'll leave a link below to his channel. He is an awesome dude that does great vlogs, so I will definitely leave a link to that. My question from yesterday was, have you ever been pulled over by a police officer? The po-po. <laughs> and, surprisingly, a lot of us have. Really? Yeah, really. Okay. Oops. Okay. I, I, it, it, I'm getting there. My tablet broke, so I'm using Kevin's Kindle. What's that supposed to mean? It doesn't, I'm not as used to it as my dad. Oh, there, good take. Yeah. Uh, Tanya Longley. I can totally relate to this because the Maybrook police back in New York, that's all I can say. <laughs> um, Just in case he has to go back to Maybrook. Yeah, well, my cousin still lives in Maybrook. <laughs> and he is an EMT in Maybrook. Okay, once... Stopped in Maybrook, New York. Apparently insurance ran out on my car, so they had my had suspended my registration. Car was impounded. The nice police officers abandoned me at the Maybrook Diner. What a mess. Isn't that so nice of them? Just leave a woman in the middle of, well, not in the middle of nowhere. They left her at a diner. But come on. How rude. So, yeah, sorry about that, Tanya, but I know Maybrook. And that happened right before she left to move to Vermont. <laughs> Angie Lupus Life. I've heard this story with Angie. Um, 
when she did drive, she, she was a little heavy footed. She was driving to Dallas, Texas. She got pulled over by one police officer for speeding. And less than 10 minutes later, she, later, she got pulled over by a second police officer. Needless to say, the second ticket was pretty expensive. Yeah, I would say so. Daily rambles. I have been pulled over for speeding, rolling stop, and not having a front tag due to my uh, recent accident. Last time I was pulled over was a warning a few months ago for speeding, and before that it was eight years. I'd say that's a pretty long span. You're doing pretty good. <clears throat> Terry Johnson. I have gotten a speeding ticket. I have also got one for a rolling stop. I believe I fully stopped. The policeman disagreed with me. They usually do. Melody Mainville. Mom's Vlog 80. Yes, a few times. One, one time I got a speeding ticket. The other time I got out of it just for being a distracted mommy. Yeah, kids are very distracting when you drive. Um, Bambi S. Uh, one time years ago, I got pulled over because of my dad's old expired registration tag. I had the new one in the glove box. And I was going to scrape off the old one, you know, because sometimes you got to scrape it off so the new one sticks better. Um, but the cop made me get out of the car right there on the road and put the new one on. Not even a fix-it ticket to let her go home and do it. Fix it right there on the road. Yup. Scott Jenny. Ben stopped for speeding. Ben stopped for no seatbelt. And stopped one time because I think they needed to meet their ticket limit for the night. Because they were going to give, they were giving me tickets for the strangest things that reached exactly $250. Yeah. Sorry if any police officers are listening to this, but... We know it's quite a... Yeah. We, we, we do. I have relatives that are cops, and, you know, there's a quota. You have to meet your quota. Sorry. Crimson Ferry. I got pulled over twice. Once for crossing a solid white line while making a lane change. Got a ticket for that. The only other time was for speeding, and she got out of that one. Jess Lucero. I got pulled over twice. Once for speeding and once for a taillight out. Did they give you a ticket or a fix-it ticket for the taillight? Trans Am Girl. I got pulled over several times. I had a Mitsubishi Eclipse. In Michigan, it's illegal to have the driver and passenger windows tinted. My car was from Tampa, Florida, where it's not illegal. So it was tinted. I used to get pulled over for it every week at one point. I ended up getting a doctor's note for my skin condition so I could keep the tint. The local judge approved the doctor's note, but it didn't stop the cops from pulling her over. Figures. Okay, so that's everybody's I wanted to read. Kevin, have you ever been stopped by a cop? Yes, I have. And? <laughs> We're in California. You drive a lot in California, so you get stopped a lot in California. So, that's about all I could say. I actually have had one speeding ticket in New York, two speeding tickets in California, both to the point to where I was going over the speed limit to where they should have suspended my license. One they did not because I had a cop sticker in the back of my car because I was I'm related to a police officer. So they lowered my speed limit. The second one, the cop said, do you know how fast you were going? And I said, yes. And I told him how fast I was going. And he says, because you're being honest with me, I'm going to put down, make it lower so you don't lose your license. And I was very, very grateful to him for that. Okay, my question for today is... 
Would you rather go without junk food for a year or go without TV for a year? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. considering, considering they kind of go hand in hand. That's right. <laughs> it's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Beep, beep. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, so last night's question was about the movie Behind the Mask, which was a mockumentary about um, a serial killer looking for his next victim and being followed by a, a camera crew. And it's, it's in a fake world where all of the um, horror movie people actually existed. So that's why there's all these references to Child's Play and Nightmare on Elm Street and Michael Myers and just about everything you can think of ends up showing up in this movie in one way or another. So there's a million of them. If you want to see a really good list, then uh, Pam B.S. has probably got the most complete. Uh, Tanya Longley uh, has a, a lot in there as well, but uh, yeah, some real research on that thing. Probably should watch that movie. I've never watched it, but it looks pretty interesting. Um, so, the people who got that right was Terry Johnson, Tanya Longley, Greg Myers, Pam B.S., and Cole Today. Woohoo! Okay, tonight's uh, question has to do with wrong turn. The original. I think there's five of them now. So I'm making a lot of money out of wrong turns here. <laughs> I, I could be in that movie. I make a lot of wrong turns. <laughs> okay, this one. Just ask Crimson Fairy. <laughs> uh, this star, the original one starred Aliza Gushka, who um, uh, you might remember from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. She, she was in there a lot. And um, the question is why was half of the, uh, the crew, the cast and crew, Suffering from rash. Pretty interesting. There you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. We do love you all very, very much. Thumbs up, and we. We'll see you all tomorrow. Bye. Bye.